Hello, it is Wednesday. I'm outside on the levee after the rain. This is Vlogmas Day 18. Um, I am at one of my favorite spots for cardio. I get up a pound or two lighter every time I come out here and get this distance in, just simply because it's um it's more fun than a treadmill. I get bored on treadmills and ellipticals. It's beautiful, especially in this weather. The sky is all pretty. There we go. The sky is all pretty and it's not crowded because it's chilly. Hello there, sunshine. I don't have my shades either. I'm basically a vampire. If you know me, I don't ah, I don't go outside without sunglasses. I'm like a nocturnal person. So this is an epic event you're witnessing here. I'm getting my cardio in, enjoying this crazy ass weather. I've reached my halfway point. This is about the 2.25 mile mark. And then you just turn around and go back to your car and that's how I end up hitting two, two and a quarter. Yeah, basically you end up with four and a half miles. The fact that fat is not a bad word, obesity is not a bad word. Saying a person is obese is not a bad word. Using hate speech, um, like that coal guy in the snake diet calling people fat fucks, not cool. I am not a fan. He's just got a really big mouth and I understand he promotes extreme fasting for weight loss. At the same time, body positivity, fat acceptance, healthy at every size, um, y'all are smoking crack because you're not healthy at every size. Body fat percentage makes a difference. Heart attack and stroke happens. I've watched thousands of people who are sick under age 40 on my ambulance who I'm picking up for diabetic issues, peripheral neuropathy, chronic pain, depression, the list goes on and on because they are obese and sedentary. And when you get into it, which came first, the chicken or the egg, right? Are they depressed because they're fat? Are they fat because they're depressed? Um, are they unhealthy because they're fat? Are they unhealthy because they're depressed? Which made them fat, which made them unhealthy? Nonetheless, that's why I'm an ACE certified health coach and I will help any of you set attainable goals to reach your desired body weight. This shit is hard. So I am the first one to be like, rah, you know, I'm, I'm straight into the point. I preach fundamentals, good form and technique, whether it's a flipping push up or the way you're throwing a punch. Um, at the same time, I'm not gonna turn somebody away who's willing. You don't even have to be good at working out, but you have to be willing to try. That's my thing. Um, I don't like the snake diet guy screaming at people and demeaning them. I think there's a line, you know? If you join the Marines, sure. If you go to a boxing gym, you should expect to get shouted at in a different way than if you go to yoga. If you're training for a combat sport where you can die, and many have this year, you should expect a different manner of being taught. So, but, if you show up because you wanna get fit and lose weight, I'm not going to call you a fat fuck, and anyone who does, in my opinion, displays ignorance. Secondary topic, that guy has some serious cult-like followers. They came at me and called me names because I said I wasn't a fan. Still not a fan, but at the same time, if you can back it up by science, do your thing. You should not live in a world though. We're posting a progress pic because you're proud of losing fat, which you'll see one at the end of the year um, gets you banned. And fat is not a bad word. And saying, what's that girl's name? Tess Holiday? That, that woman's going to die. So is the nice, wonderful, sweet lady on This Is Us if they stay at that weight. I don't care how famous you are, how big your following is, how many friends you have, how much money you make, and what I mean by you will die is you will die prematurely. Your lifespan will be drastically shortened and your family and friends will miss you because you were not fit. complete. 